What's up everybody, Barry Monstra coming at you with another action figure review. Today we are looking up from Super 7, the Ultimate Collection, Papa Emeritus II. This is the second Ultimate Edition ghost figure from Super 7. If you click on the link above, you'll be able to check out the video we did on Papa Emeritus the first. So let's jump in and take a look at this new Papa. So when you open the shipper box, this is what you find. It's just a brown cardboard box with the ghost logo and then the name of the figure, which in this case is Papa Emeritus the second. I'm a big fan of these. I really like these outside shippers. It's a little bit more detailed than like the figure art shippers have, but it's still pretty cool. Just so if you do keep things in box, you know what's in what. And this is just the back side of the box, it has the UPC and all the legal information, logos and stuff like that. So when you go to open that shipper box, inside you'll find, the, obviously, the actual package of the toy. Now I think these look phenomenal. They have the, the Ghost logo on them, they've got different art. This is a different box design from the last one, and the Grucifix on the back. I think they look absolutely amazing. But... You can't see the figure unless you open the package. So let's open this thing up. So once you get that plastic off, you got a good look at the package here. I love the like silver, black, and purple kind of thing they got going on here. It looks great. So we'll slide the case out. And here under the window, you can see our beautiful Papa Emeritus II. So I love how this looks inside the window packaging. Now, I'm not an inbox collector at all, but... I can see in this case why people would like that. I do like how it looks. Fantastic packaging. So I will give that to Super 7. Their packaging is absolutely phenomenal. And then down in here it's got like a little description as far as like who Papa Emeritus is. And kind of the little ghost story. Just wanted to read this because I think the ghost story makes it even better. Not only is the music great, but the story behind their lore is I think amazing. So Papa Emeritus II was the most sinister of his papal brethren. The younger brother of Papa Emeritus I continued the work of the Dark Ministry across the world. Known for his calm demeanor and commanding stage performance, Papa Emeritus II also had a wild side, being often seen in Las Vegas' most sinful establishments, when not on the road. Under his leadership, Ghost released Infestissimum, which charted in seven countries and won several awards. Despite these successes, the clergy's goals were greater and and more vile than imagined. So when you pull everything out, there's basically two trays inside. One contains Papa and a hat, and then the other contains the alternate head, the mic and the microphone stand, the staff, and all the alternate hands. So pretty loaded up. I don't know if I'd necessarily say ultimate. We did seem to get more in the first, uh, but I still think what we got is pretty cool. So let's take a look at each thing individually. Uh, first thing to want to talk about would be the hands. So with one, this one, we get four sets of hands. We got like an open palm hand, the closed fisted hand, the small grabbing hand for like the microphone stand and stuff, and then the large grasping hand for the microphone itself. So rather than have a fancy other hatted in another color version, uh, in this they included the unmakeup Papa head. You see in some of the music videos from this particular album, Papa will be in like in the unpainted face so that was their homage to that there i think there was even a couple interviews and stuff done of him uh in without the makeup wearing the, the hat so i think it looks pretty much like him it's not too bad it's not a perfect head sculpt but if you're a ghost fan and want to have that unmasked or unpainted face it's cool that they included that so not bad hopefully they do the other papas down the road so looking at the articulation of Papa Emeritus II, uh, head's on a ball joint, uh, so it swivels a little bit. It's kind of stiff with this head on. Articulation's very basic. Uh, it's exactly the same as the other one, so it looks like they're going to be reusing the suit body. Single jointed elbows and knees. Now it looks good for a figure like in a suit. Uh, it's pretty decent looking but it looks like they're just going to be constantly reusing this body for every papa that comes up uh, you do have a uh, torso swivel in there as long as uh, twist right at the hips uh, rocker joint down on the feet fairly solid i mean it's decently articulated for a musician i think it looks great if you do toy photography it also makes a good just random person to have in the background so all in all solid figure so here's a comparison of papa one and papa two uh, obviously different face painting styles. Um, so that's going to be common every time the new Papa 
comes, there is a new structure in the paint setup. Uh, so these both look great. Uh, looking forward to doing three and four and Cardinal Copia down the road, which hopefully Ultimates will do. As far as accessories, you do have the staff with the crucifix on the top. So pretty standard for this Papa moving forward. And then you also have the Thurible. And it's the same silver one that came with the first Papa Ultimate. I uh, added some polyfill there just to make it look like it was smoking. So those are the accessories you get in addition to the microphone and the mic stand as well. Thing to kind of look at here would be the robe itself. These are really, really good quality. Uh, I assume the crucifix patterns are like ironed on, but then they've got like that black lace in there with it, and they just look really good. They feel sturdy. Uh, all in all, a great accessory to be included with this. So this is definitely a fun figure, especially if you're a big Ghost fan. It's really cool to have these in. And like I said, hopefully we get more of the other Papas down the road. Hopefully this is done well enough to justify the other Papas and Cardinal Copia being done through the Ultimates line. So based on how Super 7 has done these figures, it's kind of a pre-order based system. So basically you pre-order it, like I ordered this about a year ago, roughly give or take, and then it ships out whenever it's ready. I don't think they'll have any in stock on their website since this is shipped out, but retail on this, even if you go through a third party like Bid Bag, Toy Store, or someplace like that, you're looking at retail of $55 roughly, give or take a little bit. So you should be able to find that on any major toy website. Uh, they may put some back on their website at some point. That is something you'd have to check Super 7's website to see if those pop up. As far as this figure itself, I would give it a score of 8. Uh, it's a good figure. It's really cool to have as a Ghost fan. I'm personally more excited for Cardinal Copia and Papa 4 to come. Those are my favorite lead singers of the band. So, But this one's still a great figure. Maybe having some more accessories or alternate cloak or robe and head may have swayed that a little higher. But all in all, it's a solid figure. And if you're a Ghost fan or a rock music fan in general, highly recommend picking it up. It's a pretty cool figure to have. That'll wrap up this review. Definitely thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Any comments you have, please put them in the comments below. Subscribing and comments definitely help the video go and mean the world to me. So I greatly appreciate anyone that does. Thank you and hope you have a good day. And we'll see you in the next video. Asmodeus, Satanas, Lucifer.